What's going on guys? My name is Max Beaumont. I'm a communication skills coach. I do videos on different people's communication skills. Today's video is going to be on the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau. I'm going to be looking at one of his latest clips where he addresses the public about something COVID related probably. I'm going to give you my thoughts, let you know what I think about his speaking skills. And without further ado, I'll get right into it. This dude has the best hair in the game. Gotta give him credit for his hair. So we'll start off with that. Now has a safe and approved test that can detect antibodies specific to COVID-19 in an individual's blood. So we can keep Canadians safe and healthy. He's reading and he's presenting himself well so far. Over the past few weeks, our government has unveiled a number of measures to help businesses stay afloat during the crisis. We want to make sure that as many Canadians as possible can keep getting their paycheck now. And this has sort of always been my beef with, with Trudeau. He projects really well and his body language is excellent. He speaks with a good pace. He speaks with a great tone and inflection in his voice. It's very easy to understand. He just speaks very clearly. Over the past few weeks, our government has unveiled a number of measures to help businesses stay afloat. But it always seems like he's almost acting. And he's a good actor. In the back of my mind, I feel like there's a little bit of a performing aspect to it. Like he's a performer. It, it doesn't come from that real place. Like if you look at Benjamin Netanyahu, that guy speaks with passion and conviction and emotion. You believe him, you, you want to hear more, you want to listen to him. Trudeau does all the things right, but he's missing what I think is probably the most important piece, which is that belief aspect. Like, dude, just get real with us, man. What, what, do, you, what, do, you, what do you think? That said, a lot of his stuff is written, and it's hard to, when you're reading off a script or memorizing something, it's hard to actually come from a, 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 a real place. Come back to once the pandemic is behind us. Because that day will come. And when it does, Canada needs to be ready. Like right there, right there. Like he could have spoke with a little more belief and conviction. When this is done, Canada will be ready. Just dude, how do you really speak? How do you really sound? That's, that's an important point to say. When this is all done, we're gonna be back to normal. Tell us that from the heart. Once the pandemic is behind us. Because that day will come. And when it does, Canada needs to be ready. You said it well, but it just didn't feel sincere. It felt like you were trying to be sincere, but it didn't feel sincere. And I think he has good intentions. I think Justin Trudeau is a good guy. I just wish there was a little more realness, a little more rawness, a little more real emotion and authenticity. There just seems to be something missing. And we know that key to our collective success is maintaining the connection between employer and employee. So to help businesses of all sizes keep people on the payroll, we launched the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy. We you know, it, it reminds me of, it's just like he's a student in school and like the teacher's asking everyone to read a passage from this book and they're like, Justin, your turn. And then Justin reads his passage and he reads it really well but he doesn't actually internalize what the passage is saying. He's just reading it really well with good inflection and good enthusiasm, but he's not actually thinking about what the words mean. We launched the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy. That's what this kind of seems like. So far, more than half a million small businesses have received a loan through the SIBA, and over 120... Now, to his credit, this guy's probably got the hardest job in the world right that now, to be a leader of a country during this crisis. So he's probably tired, probably stressed. I'm sitting here, chilling in my sweatpants, critiquing this guy, and at the end of the day, I've got to give him props for doing what he's doing and maintaining his composure. He's certainly a composed speaker, and he often displays really good body language and really good presence. A thousand employers have been approved to receive the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy for almost two million workers. Yeah, at, at this point, he's just kind of reading what he has to read. He's updating the public on news that they need to hear. So this might not be the truest example of his public speaking abilities. That said, we're still getting a glimpse of what he's like, how he carries himself, how he projects himself. So if you're struggling but did not qualify for other programs like the wage subsidy or the emergency business account, 
give them a call. They're there for you. Did you believe that? Well, we'll go back to that. So if you're struggling but did not qualify for other programs like the wage subsidy or the emergency business account, give them a call. They're there for you. They're there for you. And like, it's like he knows how to do it. It's like, give them a call. They're there for you. Like he knows when to do it. He knows when. He's like, cute, make eye contact. Like he knows when to do it. He knows all the things. He knows the fundamentals. It's just, again, it's that lack of belief and conviction in what he's saying. It's too forced. It's too acted out. That's what sort of, in my mind, puts him down a couple pegs from being up there with the, the elite speakers. Those are my thoughts on Justin Trudeau's speaking abilities. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know if there's anyone else you'd like me to analyze or talk about. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.